Today, we're going to take a journey to a, an imaginary place. This imaginary place is called the Republic of Kanata. At the Republic of Kanata, you can cancel all laws just by saying that you cancel your contracts. It's really, it's really quite neat. It's really quite neat. Everything is voluntary. All laws are consensual and everything has to be done through contracts. Yes, anarchy rules the day. Robbery and burglary and, and murder and theft are everywhere. But, you know, at least they, you can't get pulled over for driving down the street in the Republic of Canada. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Pomato, Joe the Lawyer. We're going to take a look at an old video from Canada, a sovereign citizen in Canada who's handing papers to police officers and telling them that he knows the chief. It's never good when you know the chief. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It's a free way to support the show. Totally free. I make a little bit of money off of this, but I do this. I see this as part of a public service. Um, and if you like my content, content, keep me going. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Really, sharing these videos is one of the best ways to support this show. Now, before we watch this old but hilarious video and watch my analysis afterwards, uh, raise your cup, your glass in the air. Today, Joe is drinking water. Don't worry, I haven't sold out. There's plenty of uh, Diet Coke and coffee in my kitchen. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Let's watch this video. Do you suspect me of a crime? You have no license plate. Do you suspect me of a crime where I, I my so baby? You have to identify yourself under the highway traffic act. No, I do not. I just proved in court. I do not have to identify myself Why to not? a police officer. Why not? Because I have a, no, because I'm a freeman on the land. Number one and number two, you gotta suspect me of criminal activity to detain me. So, yes, you do. I don't care what your Highway Traffic Act says, that's the law. You have to identify yourself under the Highway Traffic Act. Do you suspect me of a crime, sir? No. Am I free to go? No, you're not. So you're going to detain me? Um, if you don't identify yourself, I'm going to arrest you. For what? I've done, done anything criminally wrong. But that's not a criminal act. You only have authorization to detain somebody if they've done something criminally wrong. I don't care what your Highway Traffic Act says. I have no contracts under that act. I've cancelled them all, so you can't enforce it on me. You can't tell me your name? No, I'm not. I don't have to. That's my right. Okay, I'm just going to wait for another unit to get That's here. That's fine. Okay. Bring bring your chief, too, because he knows who I am. Okay, I will. I know my rights. Do you know who you are? You haven't identified yourself. I'm operating under the Republic of Canada. That's a legal jurisdiction here in Canada. Because okay. Canada's dissolved. Huh? Canada's dissolved. I'm also going to hand you this paperwork. Yeah, sure. Yep. So he's, this officer is accepting the paperwork that we are a criminal organization. So that's on camera. And also, you guys have been involved in kidnapping our child with Children's Aid Society. So here's, here's another legal document because you're involved in kidnapping our child, which is also why we don't comply with your laws. Because you guys are thieves to us. You thieved our child from us. So we will not comply or acknowledge you. No, it's not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be. These are things I'm issuing to you. Because no, you do not. I just proved that in criminal court, bud. The judge bowed down to me. It took two minutes because you're using trust law in the court, and I know it. Okay. So because of that, I know I don't have to identify myself to a cop. Okay. I know my rights, man. Sorry. I'll stand on them. I don't think you do. I do. I've been arrested yeah. twice and never been charged. You, you guys, are, I consider you guys a threat to me because you detained me twice. I have not been convicted you in court. An opportunity to read the Highway Traffic Act? I don't need to. I canceled my contracts under the Highway Traffic Act. You can't enforce that act on me. Okay. I operate under common law jurisdiction of the Republic of Canada. Okay. Okay. I've never heard of it. Well, you did today. And you should, you should learn that your oath to the Queen's nullified and abolished. And you guys don't have authority. Look, now there's two other cruisers here. I don't care. I'm standing for my rights, man. Plain and simple. Bring them all. Bring your whole force. I am not intimidated at all, man. Okay. I know my rights. Don't open my door. I need you to identify yourself. No, you don't. You have no right to open my door. He's a sovereign citizen. He won't identify himself. So... Are you going to identify yourself? I do not have to, Robert. Okay. Thank you. Open my door. You have no right to fucking touch me. You guys have kidnapped our child. Nope, I'm leaving. Don't get in front of me. You're pulling your gun on me? 
he's pulling his gun on me. Everybody, I have not done anything criminally wrong. He's pulling his gun on me. No, no. It's off. Parking brakes on. I'm no threat. I'm no threat. They're pointing their guns at me. Just because I don't have the right plates on my car. That's why. Ready to grab it. You guys don't have this authority. You're going to break my window. Don't. I'll open my door. Don't. Ow. Asshole. What the hell? Get out of the car now. Okay, they just broke my glass. See that? Beautiful. Good job. Get out of the I'm fucking car out. now. I have nothing on me. Oh, you're going to cut me. Don't. I'll open the door. You're going to cut me. You're going to cut me. So today we have a Freeman on the land who gets his window smashed in because he refused to get out of a car and he also started to drive away towards an officer. Listen to me. This isn't just for the sovereign citizens. When you are pulled over by the police, do not drive away. That officer is standing in front of the vehicle, okay? You could get charged with aggravated assault for driving a massive multi-ton automobile at a, at a human being. Yeah, they're going to pull their gun on you. They're going to pull your gun on you, man. You live in you live in this fantasy world, okay? He's a, I'm not suspected of uh I'm not suspected of criminal activity. Of course, cuz in the sovereign citizen world, um traffic violations aren't criminal. Anybody can just vi there are no traffic rules. What, uh, th th tell me this, why do they stop at stop signs and stoplights? Why stop? Why stop in their world? Why stop? Uh, one of my favorite parts of this is, is what he says, the chief knows me. Look, it's never a good thing if the chief knows you. Unless you're like his relative or her relative, okay? Or, uh, I don't know, you see him at, at, around town, the chief knows me? <laughs> Come on, man. You're killing me. Um, but my favorite, my favorite, I did not see, I love, I enjoy the different flavors of sovereign citizenry, right? So we go to the UK. I just did a video on the UK over there. The UK is a corporation. Uh, there's, um, what do they say over there? Uh, something about this, uh, Dun and Broad Street, Dun and Brad Street, Dun and Brad Street. Okay. UK is a corporation. The King, the Queen, you know, that only has authority, doesn't have any authority, right? In the U S they say that, 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 that the government is still beholden to the King and the Queen of England, right? Like England's still running things from behind it. And then here in, here in, in Canada, we have uh, the Republic of Canada. <laughs> I got, so I wrote that out. I believe it's spelled K-A-N-A-D-A, -A -A, right? That would turn it into Canada uh, since we're dealing with the Republic of Canada. Um, he said, the judge loved me down there. The judge loved me down there. Uh, Dude, I don't know, but yeah, sometimes you can have a good experience in court, but boy, I can tell you, he ain't going to love you after this one. And everybody, I, I recognize that this is an old video, okay? I'm just, uh, I'm trying to make some extra content here. We're all in a uh, pandemic lockdown. So um, I know my rights, man. And the officer says, I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't think you do either, buddy. I don't think you got some wrong rights. He hands him some paperwork. Hmm. That's a, not, oh, a lot of my favorites here. I love when they hand paperwork. I love when they hand paperwork. Uh, Republic of Canada, all good stuff. Oh, Canada is dissolved. He said Canada is dissolved. Why? Because you and some other sovereign citizens wrote it on a website? Like, you write things on websites and just believe it's the law because it's on a website? They give things fancy letterheads and think that because it's on a fancy letterhead, it's the law. Ah, man, some human beings. Um, oh, he says, I you, you can't, I canceled, all, he goes, oh, all seriousness, I canceled all my contracts, man. You can't enforce that act on me. <laughs> right, and 99% of other people out there are just idiots. They just forgot to cancel their contracts, you know. Uh, because they, you know, they want the law to apply to them. All right. All right. Um, 
Oath to the Queen is abolished. Oath to the Queen is abolished. I don't know how the Queen plays in with Canada. I know they still have some weird thing going on. And, you know, they were a, 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 a protectorate or, a, um, you know, under the administration of the United Kingdom for much longer than the United States. But um, the Oath to the Queen abolished. So just because you say it doesn't make it real, buddy. I mean, you're killing me. And then he starts freaked out, freaking out when the officer pulls the gun on him. And, uh, and, and, oh, they're just, they're arresting me just because I don't have the right plates. They wouldn't have arrested you and busted your window if you cooperated. They probably would have made you get out of the car. You got to have plates, man. Driving is a privilege. It is not a right. This buffoonery. Um, and then this whole thing with, I'll open the door, I'll open the door. So he's saying, I'll open, oh, I'll open the door, I'll open. The no, you won't open the door. The officer tried to open the door and you pulled the door closed. Oh, now that they pulled a gun on you and scared you, you you'll open the door. Even then, you still weren't opening the door. Um, you can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. So um, I wonder if this guy, you know, after he got out of jail, if he went back to the Republic of Canada, um, I'm interested. The Republic of Canada is interesting to me. I, I like the name at the very least. Please, sovereign citizen, sir, learn your real rights. Get some help. Watch my channel. Be demystified. Um, be debunked. It's all BS. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I know this was an old video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. This show will always remain free. I, this will always remain free. I see this as a part of a public service. I do make a little bit of money off of it, okay? But it's just a public service element. But you can support me for free. Just subscribe or share the video. Subscribe or share the video. That's it. That's all I'm asking. Thank you very much.